Hey guys, what's going on? We're back today for another review of The Bad Batch, Season 1, Episode 6, Decommissioned. Decommissioned is probably one of my favorite episodes of the series so far. We've only gotten six, but definitely the third episode stands out, the first one and this one. Uh, this episode uh, really was shocking. Uh, there was a lot of things that happened that I did not think were going to happen. Uh, we start to see the transition where uh, Wrecker, we've seen him, uh, his head be hurting a lot, and he keeps holding it, he keeps hitting it, uh, and finally uh, the uh, inhibitor chip uh, starts to go off, and it starts to uh, give the good soldiers follow orders mantra which is very concerning uh it, definitely the whole time i'm like oh please not now please not now because i was not mentally emotionally ready for that uh pretty good uh, in my opinion i thought it was pretty cool that we got uh the martez sisters back from season seven and it really just does show that everything that they do uh has purpose i know a lot of us were like why would you put these sisters like in the season seven like what's it's a good story uh, it it's, has important elements for Ahsoka, but to have that take up four episodes in the final season, a lot of people were like, what? But if they were doing that to set it up so that they were to then connect to the Bad Batch in the Bad Batch show, which is a way for them to connect to whoever the contact is, uh, then yeah, it makes sense. And that was really clever, and I thought that it worked out really well. And I know that we could always, we would always kind of maybe want to see, not always, but I know sometimes we might want to see new characters, but I thought... Honestly, like, fitting in the Martez sisters was perfect. Uh, plus, the Martez sisters have only been in four episodes. I don't think they've been referenced anywhere else. So, uh, put them in. That works. That's great. I loved it. I thought it was perfect. Uh, I'm definitely curious to see who ends up being the contact. I think the contact in everything that they were saying, uh, it just seems like that, especially Rafa, where she's like, I picked a side finally. Like, it, everything just, it may, and the fact that they say they're fighting against the Empire, it just, it makes... A lot of sense to me that she, uh, because of what Ahsoka did, uh, she, because of everything that Ahsoka taught them, uh, they end up helping Ahsoka down the road. And we know that Ahsoka is a, a part of the integral part to the early stages of the rebellion. So seeing that those two, uh, all the pieces connect, uh, this gives us uh, a chance that the uh, Bad Batch could uh, find their way uh, in the early stages of the rebellion. I'm not sure if that's what's going to end up happening, but there is that possibility there. Uh, I do wish that we would get some more of Crosshair's story uh, to see kind of what's going on from his point of view. Uh, I wouldn't be actually too upset from next episode if we actually see a whole episode from his point of view. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. If anything, it'll probably be a, another split, like, from half from his perspective, half from the Bad Batch perspective. Uh, but the thing is, is that he is part of the Bad Batch, and like, I want to see what his story is. I want to see what's going on uh, from the Imperial side. I think it's also important to note, like, not to forget that the Camoans, like, they also have some things that they've been working up. Uh, they're possibly the one who sent Fennec. There's a lot of threads right now, and there is still a lot of time for these threads to tie up. But I'm going to be very curious to see how they do do this in 10 episodes. Like, there's plenty of time. Um, but, you know, we got to start wrapping up on some of them, but not all of them. And uh, seeing where some of these go. So it is very exciting to see. They have set a lot up for this season. Uh, maybe for seasons to come. We don't know. Uh, but incredible job so far. I really enjoyed this episode. It is really uh, one of the best, in my opinion, of this of the show so far. Uh, I really enjoyed the humor. Uh, there was that really funny echo joke uh, that I was ugh, dying. I thought that was really funny. And uh, I really also liked the music. Uh, Kevin Kiner, uh, just once again, just smashing it, like, incredible stuff, and also the visuals, this is the best that Star Wars animation has looked ever, uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this episode, uh, I really am excited, uh, I, I'm enjoying the show, actually, I'm enjoying the show more than I expected to, um, I'm not sure where, you know, it fits with the other animations, but it's still very early to be able to have that discussion, so we really don't have to worry about that just yet. But I want to know, guys, uh, what did you guys think about it? Uh, I want to talk about it with you down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Is the show working for you? Is it not? Let's let's just talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Uh, and you know what else to do. Hit the like and the subscribe button. It really does help the channel a lot, and I hope you guys have a great day.